Representatives from Southeast Asia Bloc or ASEAN are eyeing on the latest condition in Myanmar and also planning a humanitarian effort in order to resolve conflicts in Myanmar, which has begun since its military seized power from elected democracy leader February of last year. The Association of the Southeast Asian Nations convened a meeting in the Cambodian capital, Phnom Penh, in a fresh effort to organize humanitarian assistance for strife-torn Myanmar. Organizers says the hybrid meeting, which included participation by video, was attended by high-level representatives from Myanmar and other nine member states of ASEAN. Some external partners included United Nations specialized agencies and other relevant international organizations also attended the meeting. The effort is part of an attempt to revive a five-point consensus on Myanmar reached in April last year by ASEAN. The consensus calls for a mediation by an ASEAN special envoy, proposition of humanitarian and through ASEAN channels, and a visit to Myanmar by the special envoy to meet all concerned parties. Though Myanmar agreed to the consensus, but then made scant effort to implement it. Moving on to the presidential election rallies in Philippines. In the most recent poll released one week before Monday's election, Marcos Jr. and Sara Duterte each had about 55% support. By pairing up with 43-year-old Duterte, Marcos Jr. has been able to combine his family support in the north and hers in the south to both of their advantage. Marcos's Biggest challenger, Lenny Robredo, has mobilized a groundswell of support against him and has drawn huge crowds with a message of reform and corruption-free governance. However, she is still polling at less than half of his number. Robredo is Philippines' current vice president. The vast majority of the country's 67 million registered voters are working class. Despite both being part of longtime political families, both Marcos and Duterte have been polling as well.